It is the 8th of June 2014 and it is the second development day for Glowbreaker version 2. Didn't really do, actually didn't do any work uh, yesterday on the 7th of June 2014. I was busy doing other stuff so there could possibly be two development vlogs today. Depending on if I do some more work today or technically tomorrow in the early hours. So today literally all I did was rename the assets or yeah we named the assets from version 1 so they suited the multi resolution folder structure that we've or that we've got for Glowbreaker now and for Cocos 2DX in general cuz use Cocos 2D iPhone I'll show you what the folder structure was like it was terrible it wasn't even organized well but the actual naming was different as well so if we have a look here we go this is literally how it was most of the files were just out here so we got like all these different brick files, the ball file, and then we did have some of them grouped in. I don't know why we had some of them and some of them didn't. So clearly, it's not like we couldn't get them to work. It's just I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we could. Yeah, from this is a good example. For the non-retina, uh, we did dash iPad because we didn't support iPhone regular iPhone at all. But we will now, or technically, that sort of size we will because of Android. Um, so I had to resize all the iPhone or the iPad ones, I should say, to support the iPhone. That was a bit of a pain as well. Yeah, so it was dash iPad and Retina was dash iPad HD. And this is what the new folder structure looks like. Uh, we got iPad, iPad HD, iPhone, iPhone HD. All the assets are just in these three folders. So we've just got an iPad HD. We got game layer ball. And we got the different types of balls uh, for the bricks. We got the different types of bricks as well. It's a lot more organised. There's none of this uh, dash iPad, dash iPad HD rubbish. I never liked that stuff anyway. I remember the artist hated that when I told him that in Coco Studio X we it's done a little differently. It's done like this. So he was so happy. Uh, he should have seen his face. It was unbelievable. But yeah, this is literally what I did today. It, it might look like something that was easy but yeah, it was easy technically but it took over two hours literally just finished doing it which sounds like a lot long time but it it just had to be done and it's something that does just take work well, there's so many files because i had to rename them i had to then resize them as well and reorganize them uh, I don't even know if they're gonna work properly. Either. I don't know if I've renamed them more correctly. I might have named them with a capital H or one with a lower cap, lowercase H. It might be there might be a space or an extra place, extra space somewhere. But I'll find out once I actually run on the different voices. And if I get any error, saying you can't find the file. So yeah, that was it for today. Um, in the next development day, which will be today, as most likely I will be doing work on it today. I will be creating the bare bone structure, so aka creating the different scenes of so game scene, main menu scene, level select scene. I'll implement a basic menu as well using obviously the assets that I've got here. But the main thing that I really want to get onto is looking into the physics side, so trying to get the physics working using the physics products we used Box 2D last time to get it feeling the same way that it did before there's a couple of things we want to fix from the old version but overall we were very pleased with the way it worked it had a very realistic feel a lot of brick break again they don't have a realistic feel the old sort of brick breaker didn't either but that was then and they sort of just still copying that so our aim was to make it a little different if you played it then you'll understand what we mean if you haven't there will really be a link in the description to the games there's a free version there's a paid version you can start on the free version check it out but we will be dropping the paid model once we release version 2 there will just be glow breaker no glow breaker free and that will be completely free and there will be less ads as well um, but yeah that's it for this development vlog thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk you can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day I think I've already said that well have a nice day anyway